daughter's gonna love it, Theo. I'm just a cleaning lady. <laughs> Whatever it is you want from me, stay the hell away from my son. I haven't said a word to anyone. I want to have your men following me around like this. Well, you did a good job. I want you on call. This is your pay for the other night. And a burner phone. No. I'm not for sale. I did what I did to stay alive. But this is not who I am. Look, we have a doctor on call. Dr. Saroyan. I'm not someone who can be bought. No, you're clearly a woman who's used to commanding respect. That's what I'm offering you right now. Look, you and I are both in a country that's not our own. We're not afforded the same privilege as everybody else has. When it comes to keeping your son alive, it's not about doing things the right way or the wrong way. But any way you can, I want you to take this and think on it. Why? Why do you want me to work for you? Because I like you. Alonzo told us you're Tony's sister-in-law. Uh, yes. Um, she's, she's married to my brother. Wait, weren't you with Tony in, in the bathroom earlier? Did Tony, did Tony ever say anything about the night she worked at the warehouse? No. I, I mean, and it, she, I, I knew she was working there, What but time did I, Tony come home? Late, but fight nights always run late, so... Ever seen any of the men in these photos? So you can't go. Stop, stop, Tony. Sorry, I don't know to come in. Oh, she's fine. Thanks, Alonzo. What are you doing back here? Oh, just getting to know some of your coworkers. No, you're using scare tactics on vulnerable people, making everyone think that they're getting deported. Is that what you two are worried about? Because I see here that you are, oh, you are both undocumented. In fact, Fiona's been in this country illegally for, what, 15 years? Look, I already told Fiona this. We just want information about the night that you were at the warehouse, okay? So if you're ready to open up, then we won't have to question your sister-in-law anymore. Now, she said you got home pretty late that night. No, no, that, that's not what I said. We've told you what we know. You need to get that? I'll call back when we're done, which is now. Who else knows about the payouts? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you tell on the council? I swear, I swear I didn't, I didn't tell the Oh, okay, okay, Armand, I think he gets the message. <laughs> Get out! Get out of here! This is bad, Armand. This is really bad. He's not breathing! Oh, 
Read the word about this time, Clay. I'll kill him. Come on, get him to hell, Annie. Come on. You could have killed him. Clean it up. This isn't what I signed up for. You said you wanted to pay your debts off to me. Clean it up. You remember that little rule? Hmm? Lying to a federal agent, it's a felony. He's at the club almost every day. He's Mr. Free Lunch. And I'd say by your non-reaction reaction, you do recognize him. Hey. You remember Q? Hmm? You know, James Bond, 007? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the cool things about being in the FBI. All these little doodads right here, they're actually recording devices. So the next time that you see Knight talking with Armand, all you gotta do is just drop it under their table. Oh no, I don't think so. Oh no, I'm not asking. What happens if they see me do this? Oh, you just say, you know, whoopsie. I dropped my pen, you know, kind of like that. We'll see you after your shift. who we operate on. Trust me, you don't want to upset Mother Donna. We can't remove a child's kidney as a way to pay for a crossing. It's Lizzie's family's way of affording her American dream. Who are we to rob them of that? It's not their decision to make, and if there are any complications, she could die. It was either this or leave her in one of the orphanages that service the cartels. At least this way, they get to take care of their daughter. You need to see it from their point of view. Mm -hmm. And I am sure that you have already taken some pretty dark measures to save your son. Do you want Dr. Namby to open for you? No, I'm not operating on a child for you even if it saves your own child. What are you doing here? I came to meet your boss. You can't be here. I'm working. This guy is. Marco, stop! Excuse me. Is there a problem here? No. So, Vitoni's boss, Armand. You must be Tony's husband. What do you think you're gonna get for the money you're giving my wife? Nothing. Hmm? Luke is a good kid. I know that. But what's in it for a guy like you? A guy like me? Yeah. The criminal. Okay, look what I told you. He just wants to help. And if I was a father in your shoes, I'd take help in whatever form it came. Yeah, from a guy like me. just said that you were selling guns to a guy named Noah today. Okay. What, what exactly did they ask you to do? To text him as soon as you leave the club. They're watching me. They're watching me. They're probably watching Noah, too. 
Tony, I'm gonna have to go off this deal. I, I can't afford the surgery without it. How soon does Luca need it? Soon. But that's okay, I I'll find another way. to me about your aunt like that. I feel horrible for you and your family only to find out it was so you could sneak off and have an affair with a cleaning lady. You made a fool of me. Ay, Dios mío, que vergüenza. So, is this true? Tony De La Rosa, you have the right to remain silent. What? Anything you say Garrett. can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you do not have one, one will be appointed to you. You are being charged with the following. 18 USC 1001. Catherine, what are you doing, huh? What's going Obstruction on? Obstruction of justice. Aiding and abetting a known criminal. What? Conspiracy. 